All right, folks, welcome to part nine, the finale, as promised. Here it is, you can see it behind me. You can probably tell this video is a little out of order just based on the fact that this thing is together behind me, but I kind of wanted to give you just that sneak peek before I really get into all that footage. So let's roll. So everything's back on the mill. I ran into one snag I want to show you guys. Um, even after having this thing mocked up so many times, I totally overlooked this, but I think I have a solution. So on the original splash guards, there was an access panel on the back that allowed you to get into here, only from the back. We're looking at it from the side right now. And in there is like where you plug in your computer, your monitor, and most importantly for me is my, my coolant pump. Um, whenever I pull out the entire coolant thing, a lot of times I'll reach back there and unplug the pump. Um, that way I can take the pump and everything out with it. And now with this solid back on here, I don't have that access. So what I think I'm going to do instead is just make kind of like a little tunnel right here. So it'll kind of come out here with sheet metal and just kind of cover up here so that coolant can run off and down. And that way I can access this switch and I can reach in from the side here and get to all of those cables, which I can reach because I've got monkey arms, no problem. Um, it might take, uh, you know, two steps or maybe a helper to feed cables through there, but it should work out okay, I think. So I chopped that corner out there, but I didn't actually chop it. I cut up here and then I bent it in. So now it's kind of boxed in right there. And then I took a scrap piece and kind of just made this top part. And everything I do, I'm kind of trying to do the opposite of what a roofer would do so that the coolant will stay in here and outside will stay dry, opposite of your house. So I went ahead and I bent a flange up right here, put that on the outside. So then coolant shouldn't be able to come out here and then on the inside, I cut the flange and made it go on the outside of the inside of the mill, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but then the only spot that that could leak is in the very corner. I'll show you on the outside. Right there, you can kind of see a little bit of daylight poking through. So I'll have to put some sealant right there. In all actuality, I don't think this area is gonna get a lot of coolant anyway, just the geometry of it and everything and where it's at. You know, that whole electronics enclosure, enclosure is pretty much blocking it. So aside from that though, pretty much half of it is done. <laughs> to put it kind of simply, um, check it out. I've got that side panel in, and that's kind of what I was just showing you there. And then I've got 
this side panel in. And then I also have the door that I made. So it's just that piece of um, polycarbonate and then a piece of sheet metal. Um, I bought a piece of angle. This is aluminum angle, only a 16th inch thick. I wanted something thin and light. And then I just used a piece of sheet metal right here with a little bit of a bend on it. The plan is to have the other door come in front of this and this will act as a seam or a guard, I guess, to keep coolant from coming in between the two door panels. And then of course the angle is kind of there for a door pull, um, just something simple. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Might be a little bright. And then I went ahead and put this panel in as well. It's not screwed down here, but there's another panel that comes up over here. That was my whoopsie daisy. That's what happens when I get in a rush and I don't measure things. I figured I'd put a hole you know, in my mill here and I managed to go all the way in the, <laughs> in the seam almost or in the bend. So not a big deal because this is the inside of the, of the mill, but it always sucks to be putting extra holes in things. So after doing all that, I kind of figured out an order to do all this. Um, for starters, I screwed up by putting the top on. I was thinking, oh, well, I'm not gonna, you know, run into any problems with putting the top on first and then I'll get some light. No, bad decision. The whole point of tapping the holes on top to put the top on is so I could put it on last just from the outside and not have to try and put a nut on the back of the screw like everywhere else. <laughs> so I ended up having, for this side, I already took the top screws out and then I was able to just kind of flip it up and get underneath and get all of these screws up here in. Um, not so bad on this one, I could reach in through the door, but around here, you know, I definitely had to, you know, reach in and above to get the nut on those. So the order of operations is kind of, kind of wonky, but I got it all together on that side and I think I can do it even better on this side. Um, first step, you've got to get your door um, door slide on there. So I've already got this door slide screwed on to the frame up here. I'm on the other side of that header. Next, I need to put just the white part of this door on. And the reason is because to get to some of the screw holes, I have to fully extend this slide. And you can probably see it right here. It's actually a little longer than what I need. And so to fully extend it, this panel needs to be out, the side does. So first I put that on. Um, the first time on this side, when I did it, I put the whole door on and then the door just got totally in the way and actually got a few scratches in it up here. They're not super bad, but you know, it always sucks to scratch brand new things. Um, it got scratched when I was putting this side panel on because the side panel comes in and it was rubbing over here where the door was. So I'm only going to put the metal on here so the door will only be that far down. And then um, from there I can put that side panel on. And then once that's on, I can put this front panel on. And then once all that's done, I can put this bottom panel on. That was another thing. I put this bottom panel in and then I forgot that it actually butts up against that other panel. And so then I ended up having to pull it back out, trim it a little bit and get it all to fit right. So I pretty much put this whole thing together and took it apart like two or three times, you know, getting it all to fit right. So my goal is to do that once on this side.
So what you saw just a second ago was kind of the test fit, I guess, of the second door. So it's on here all crooked and everything because it's only got two screws out of three um, holding it up over here. And that's because since the whole door is assembled, like I kind of mentioned before, um, to get to that last screw, everything needs to be fully extended and there's no flex or anything in the door to extend past this lip here. And so I could only do two of the screws out of three and one of them is uh, slotted so that you can adjust this angle. So that's why it's all cattywampus and weird. But just looking at it like this, um, I like how everything's lining up and I like that everything, you know, at least eyeballing it is even. So I think I'm good to go. Um, the next step is to disassemble this door so that just this white plate up here is on the mill. So my camera battery died as I was putting that door on there. So I was already in go mode. So I just kept hammering everything out. Really, you didn't miss a whole lot. All I really had to do was put that side panel in and this bottom panel down here in. Oh, and this, this panel here. So really just a lot of fitting panels, nothing too exciting. So let's get into the finished product. There she is, I'm calling this finished. There are two things that I still haven't done. Um, number one is the controller console. Um, the main reason is just I want to see if this thing leaks, which is the other thing I haven't done is test it all out. Uh, but once I know if it leaks or not, um, I can repair the leaks and then I'll, I'll do something with the console. Yeah, my thought with the console is uh, if I tap into these sides here, like the metal sides or steel sides, aluminum is still metal. Um, right now and mount the console and everything right here and then find a leak once everything's assembled. Now I've got to deal with a bunch of screw holes going through here to fix leaks as well as whatever leak I already have, most likely down here in the corner. So my thought is if I can just, you know, make some chips with it how it is, see what kind of issues I'm dealing with, fix those, then add on later. I'll kind of do this in a little bit of a stepped approach. So you've already kind of seen the construction of everything. So I'll just kind of, you know, show you a little bit here of how everything turned out. Oh yeah, here's the seam on the door. If the door is gonna leak at all, it would probably be right about there. See, it's right where the top aluminum piece meets where the glass is. Oh, and then this was kind of, something I noticed after the fact and it's kind of too late to fix. Uh, maybe I could countersink these or do something different with them. But I must have put this header a little bit further outward because there's really no gap right here as opposed to this side. I've got a nice gap there. So this door opens all nice and those screws clear pretty easily. But this side, see how it wants to hit them? So I have to kind of bend the door out a little bit. So I guess that's what you get for homemade. But here she is on the inside. Yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention that I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and assume that the plastic covering these LEDs is um, acrylic. So I'm going to buy, they've got them for like five bucks, just a really thin sheets of polycarbonate. Like I think it was one foot by one foot. So I'm going to go ahead and buy four of those just to protect those lights so that that acrylic doesn't just die when coolant hits it. Because I've seen what the coolant does to acrylic. It's not good. So I think that's it for this week. I'm super stoked to actually have the thing together. A little nervous about trying it out, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So yeah, I will uh, catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.